Hey and welcome to Never Into With Aragon. So there is something you could take advantage of right now that is unfortunately only PC exclusive and it's going to depend how long you've played the game for. But it's quite interesting and you can get some pretty cool things. Nothing game breaking, but it's interesting that this is available and has been discovered. And this has been around for a long, long time now. I only wish I knew this a bit sooner. But nonetheless, you still have a few weeks to take advantage of this. And there's been no word from the devs, but they've decided with the next update, this is going to be getting removed. Again, we don't know why, but just, I guess, to remove the exclusivity of, say, this being PC only, perhaps and maybe they want to return these items in the future. But let's jump into how this all works. What is really cool is you can access some of the old campaign stores. For example, Acquisitions Incorporated. This campaign got changed to an adventure. And as it is an adventure now, there is no way to, say, get campaign currency. And they removed the store. No ability to get any of the items that were linked to it. However... They decided, weirdly, to just hide the store rather than actually remove it. And so the store is just here. And there is indeed an actual way to get this currency. When you complete the skirmish which is tied to this campaign, it's called Manny Coins Bank Heist, you actually do still get old currency. As you can see right here, we get the gold reward, we get 10 acorns and 15 wooden tokens. Again, not sure why they didn't remove that, but it does mean you could potentially get the currency and buy these items. Now, the keys are a bit pointless. There's no need to get those. You can just use skeleton keys these days. Otherwise, there is some very exclusive rewards to this campaign that have not been re-released into the game yet. I mean, I'm hoping they will, but again, they have not been. You can get from these swag bags and lost and found boxes these wondrous items which have these items that again are nowhere accessible anywhere else in the game. Additionally there is this wand of wonder which unfortunately I cannot purchase here. And why? Because there is a requirement and the requirement is that you fully completed the campaign Acquisitions Incorporated when it was such. If you complete the adventure, that has no effect. So only if you have completed the past campaign can you actually buy everything here. I can't buy the Wand of Wonder because I didn't complete it, but I can buy, say, these bags of elemental gems, these lost and found boxes, because I did get that far in the campaign. Now, I did copy this to preview. I did open a bunch of those boxes and we did get our hands on this Wand of Wonder. I'll cast it right here and you get different varying effects. One of them is super cool. Unfortunately, I don't have video of it, but I did take a screenshot. You can summon a blue dragon temporarily with the Wand of Wonder. A bit crazy, but if you see it, you now know where that comes from, and it's really cool. Again, I did find a lot of other effects, like turning my character blue right here, summoning all these butterflies which will follow you around, summoning darkness around you, making your character bigger for a certain amount of time, making your character fall and take a bit of damage. You can even go turn invisible and disappear for a short time. There is a lot of things unique with this wand, and I really hope they do return it to make it accessible for other players, but maybe it's a visual effects issue, and they'd rather not people spamming these and creating like grass on the ground, butterflies, and all those certain things that maybe other people need to render in. I'm sure they could code it properly, but yeah, it's really cool. In terms of the wondrous items from say these lost and found boxes, if you could buy them, you can get things like potions and items that can summon creatures, knock back enemies, stunning them, turning invisible. And yeah, there's just some really cool stuff here. In terms of power for your character, yeah, you could get ones to increase your hit points, give you a temporary shield, increase your movement speed by 20%. This one's really nice. I wish this was more accessible. Increase your strength by three, turn you invisible, increase your damage by 3%, increase your dexterity and summon a whole bunch of different creatures. And yeah, there's some really 
unique items there that are not available anywhere in the game but unfortunately this will be going away with module 28 so if you have some currency there if you have an old account you may very well be able to spend that currency still now how does this work well again this is pc exclusive you will have to use a line of code and enter in your chat and this allows you to open these certain stores now i do need to give some credit as i was not the one who discovered this soul drinker initially led us on to revealing this and then somebody else comes along and formats it correctly that we can use it and we end up finding all of these different commands night whisperer was the one who found the code for acquisitions incorporated and now again we have those stores accessible to us yes you can get also the under mountain store that is pretty interesting you could go and potentially buy yeah the keys if you wanted to and you could buy these slime covered gear packs which just give you some items and i believe there were some exclusive armor you could get from there but you need believe you needed to open these when you were like level 19 or something 18 but there seems to be a bug if you purchase those packs you cannot open them right now it just gives you an error you have all items from this package so potentially again a lower level character could but what's very interesting is you can still gain access then to the mirror plated belt and the reflective collar giving you the set for the erratic drift globe same with the wyvern eye necklace and the wyvern skin belt for the wyvern set both those neck and waist pieces are no longer available in the game as far as I'm aware. Maybe from Zoc boxes with Master Expeditions. But as far as I'm aware, they're not. And you could only get them from the campaign store. But yeah, in the trade bar store, they still have the artifacts, the Rift Globe and the Wyvern Knives. So if you go and get enough of the currency, these coalesced magics, I believe you can still get them in the runic encounters and from the lair of the mad mage if i'm not mistaken and you could get these items and go and sell them i believe they yeah sell for quite a lot you can see the wyvern set here there's only two pieces on the auction house and they're going for nearly nine hundred thousand. so that's also very interesting but again will be removed with module 28 the command just won't work in your chat there it does nothing now additionally there's also the very old sharandar store so potentially you still have currency from there and didn't trade it for some eety weeny little bit of astral diamonds you can view the wares you can yes spend genie gifts but these genie gifts are actually only going to give you currency for new sharandar for example, we spend one right there and you can see that it can give us these Bastion in Order plans, which is also very weird because that campaign does not have genie gifts yet. So there's definitely an underlying bug with that. Just means, yeah, you're getting this currency right here, which you could spend in this store to get like the twinkling key and some other items here. But there are some other things you could get here if you say had that currency. These different potions here, getting these crescents that you could spend on this armor here. Maybe has some cool visuals that we haven't seen in a while. And particularly the weapons. Like on a paladin, this blade of the fey goes on your back instead of, say, at your side like it usually would. That's really neat. There are some other stores here. You can view equipment for the other classes. And yeah, that's about it. Zone rewards just leads you there. And legacy rewards just gives you this neck and waist set, which I believe you get from other places. But it doesn't exactly give you a, a great bonus. But then the Tyranny of Dragons store, unfortunately, doesn't really work. It would be nice to be able to buy stuff here, but you just speak to the NPC and he tells you to bugger off. You're not powerful enough, he says. Basically, I think there's a quest which you need to unlock for it. But then, say, the Underdark store here, I believe you can just purchase the Drowcraft armor and also the rings if you had that Icor, the currency, if you didn't trade it in yet. Again, some pretty cool looking stuff right there. And then you could get the Twisted Weapons, again, if you had the currency for it. I believe you can still get the visuals of them from one of the Underdark adventures, so... That's not really a problem and the bonus is not really fitting anymore. Other than that, yeah, there is the Gone to Grim store here. And you can use similar commands to access all the current existing campaign windows if you wanted to. But you can also just navigate that for yourself. 
I believe this store you can access in Mantle Dareth. It's got all the different cloaks, different weapon visuals, and they're just all skins. Like you can view the different sets here and you can purchase them for some astral diamonds. But again, I believe in Montel Dareth there is accessible all of these already. So you didn't need the command to get these. But pretty neat. Ultimately, the devs seem to be wanting to remove this with the next update. We got no information on it. I guess I didn't make this public yet. I, I am now. I personally would like most of these unavailable items to return. And uh, at least give us some word of when they will return. If you're just going to be removing them. There were some very good stuff there that we could get. Some cool visuals on items that are no longer available anymore. Additionally, some interesting consumable items from particularly Acquisitions Incorporated. This Wand of Wonder also just having some really cool effects. So hopefully this is somewhat insightful, you guys. Again, unfortunately, this is PC only with these commands and will be getting removed with Module 28. Once again, a massive thank you to all of these channel members for their added support. And we'll see you guys around. Goodbye for now.